I'm TJ Daly. And I'm Casey Ray. And, and this, this is TCC Talk. Talk. What's up, everybody? Before I jump into a Nexus 6P review, the phone that I talked about a couple weeks ago, I'd like to give a shout out to GadgetCard, a screen protection company that reminds you that safe can still be sexy. Now onto the 6P. I wanted to talk about two specific features. Let's talk about Android 6.0 Marshmallow and let's talk about the new charging port. Why do you care about the new operating system? What does it mean for you? Well, it means two things. Number one, it means better battery life. And number two, it means a more snappy experience, really quick, awesome app drawer you can fly through. Uh, a new system UI tweak. So if there are certain things you like about your Android devices or certain things you want to change from a system standpoint, especially for you power users, you're now able to do that. The most important thing about this device though is it's one of two devices in the US that features a new charging port. Now if you've had a phone for more than a decade, you're used to charging ports changing all the time. Heck, every time you got a new phone back in the day, you had to get a new car charger to go with it because it used a different connector. Well then we got spoiled. We saw micro USB come a couple years ago and then we saw mini and we've had mini for the last six to seven years. Well now comes USB-C. Oh no, I have to get a new car charger, new travel charge, etc. You do, but it's going to be worth it. It's more universal. You're going to see this port on other products outside of just phones. It's something that's already standardized in Europe, and it's going to make charging your phone a much more pleasurable experience. It's going to be quicker. It's going to be much more efficient. So look for USB-C coming in 2016, and look for Android Marshmallow coming to a phone near you. Do you find yourself browsing Pinterest for hours and yet you find that most of the things that you love aren't the focus of the pins? Well now Pinterest has a great new feature that's going to make it easier for you to not only search for similar items like that, but also find out where you can buy them. A great new app came out last week that is basically Tinder for email. Unroll.me, which is currently only available on iOS, allows you to unsubscribe from emails in a mass scale. You can either swipe left to unsubscribe, swipe right to keep in your inbox, or swipe up to keep it in your Enroll Me newsletter. Now what's the Enroll Me newsletter? Basically it allows you to keep subscribing to promotional emails or stuff you still want in your inbox, but instead of getting them individually, it sends you a compilation email every day. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, you can still access this service through the internet. TJ, can you explain to me what the big deal is about this Fallout 4 video game? What's the big deal about the Fallout 4 video game? Are you kidding me? It's only one of the most anticipated games of 2015. But I get it, we're not here to talk about video games, so I'm gonna talk about the app. All right, Fallout 4 has got this app for Android or iPhone called the Pip-Boy app, which allows you to get your video game fix anywhere. You can check your stats, you can look through your inventory. Super cool, most games don't have it, but Fallout's done a great job delivering it this time around. Well, thanks for trying to explain video games to me. Um, that's it for us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below.